Dope. <laughs> See? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yeah, there's a ton of them out here. I think I found a pretty solid spot to lay out my minnow traps. And I think I see more over there. See, I knew I found a good spot. This is looking more and more promising. And I want to show you these fungi I found. Look at them! What are those? Seriously, what are those? I want to know uh, if you know the species of fungi. Put it in the comments. So, I only got lost once or twice. Look on the map for this place. There's uh, two big ponds right by the campgrounds, but I just found a third one right here. Oh, hi there. I'm setting up minnow traps. A minnow trap is a really basic trap that is used to catch, well, minnows, but it's really great for catching herps as well because you catch things that want to eat the minnows. Uh, with minnow traps, I've caught snakes, turtles, frogs, but what I'm hoping to catch here among those as well are little Nectaris bayeri, the little water dogs. They're a species of aquatic salamander. So I actually have these baited with rice. Uh, there's a little bag that hangs in here. Usually I use dog food, but uh, rice is what I have, so yeah. Um, with these types of minnow traps, what is really critical is that you don't completely submerge them. You want to make sure anything that does get trapped that needs to breathe air can breathe air. If you're worried about it sinking or floating away, you can tie them off with a string, as well as placing water bottles inside of the trap. That'll allow it to float a little bit easier. Did you hear that? That's a barred owl. Hoo. Hoo. Hoo 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 hoo. Critical when you're placing any type of trap for whatever purpose, whether it be for herps, mammals, fish, whatever, uh, it's really critical to take into account the behavior of the animals. That's, I think, where a lot of people fail when they're placing traps, is that they don't try to look for areas where the animals may move. Uh, they don't look for how you think the animals will actually behave in their environment. It's really easy to kind of just say, well, it's in the forest, so it's fine, but you really need to look at kind of everything. What I try to think about is how easily can both the minnows enter, but also how easily can the snakes enter. I try to look for spots, um, actually, like this right here, where it's a little bit narrower and a little bit shallower uh, if I'm doing it on a stream. All my traps are placed. I'm still gonna come out this way at night just to see if I can do any night herping. A lot of times in our field studies, you want to leave these traps out for days at a time. Just check them, check them once a day, usually twice a day if you can. Trap shyness is, well, it's kind of what it sounds like. It's when animals are shy of the trap. When that happens, they're not as likely to go into it. They don't know what it is. It's new. They don't know, will this thing hurt me? Will this thing eat me? So it, sometimes it takes them a few days to warm up to it. But yeah, we'll just see what we can catch. <laughs> <laughs> but it's more entertaining this way, man. Bullfrog over here. Well, never mind. Uh, that one's already starting to head out. Bullfrogs are really cool looking. Bye bye. Don't think I'm gonna be able to catch. Oh, there's one over there that I can probably get. It's got a little bullfrog over here. 
Dude, can you believe this guy literally went out in the middle of the woods in the middle of the night and found a fucking frog? Um, taking him back to where I found him. Put him back where he belongs. Back in the pond. All right, go on, little dude. And he's gone. Or, well, he's right there, but... You go, boo-boo. Let's see. Oop. Ha. And he's gone. He's gone. Oh, he's so gone. Another one's gone. Ooh! Hello. Hello, beautiful. Dope. Ah! Ha ha! Ha ha! Nerodia erythrogaster. That's no, that's no fun. That's, there's like no sport in it. We can see if we can find something else, because usually if there's one, there's multiple. We like to show campers, like, you know, uh, not every snake in the water is a water moccasin. You know, he did his due diligence. He really kind of showed off to a lot of people. Um, oh, there's some frog nests out here. Dope. But yeah, I'm just going to release him exactly where I caught him. Uh, more like fell into the water and caught him. him. Right back where he belongs. There you go, buddy. Yeah. Hey, go back home. You want to come back to me? I know you don't want to. Go back home, buddy. I know. I know, we had fun. But I think it's time for you to go home. Is that okay? Hey. You're gonna be a big, strong snake. You are a champ. You know? You are the snake that every herpetologist wants to catch. You're nice, you're great for the public, and you're really, really neat. So I really want you to go back home. I want to see if like, there's some really delicious frogs over there. Granted, I might catch them before you do. Every now and then, go out to the other pond. Go out, catch some fish. Go out, you know, you know? Maybe a snack on a little froggy frog. But you are a powerful, strong, independent snake. And I believe in you. You can do anything you set your mind to. I love you. Y'all wanna see some frog nests? Oh, that is a frog egg mass. Um, of course, when frogs lay their eggs, they lay them in this gelatinous material that keeps them together, but also keeps them safe um, from predators or also just breaking apart. Hey, little buddy, I already let you go. You need to go home. There you go, go back to the water. You're a water snake. You should be in the water. Hey, look at this guy, all the fish fall asleep too. She has something like wrong up with his nose. Don't know what up is up, but that looks like an old injury maybe. All right, so it's the morning of the next day uh, and I'm just going out to check the traps. Uh, I've grabbed three of them already and there was nothing inside of them, so whatever. But uh, overall, this trip has been really successful um, given the time of year. You know, there's found a bunch of bullfrogs, which are common, but always fun to catch. I mean, a couple water snakes, a nice, it was a good sized snapping turtle I wasn't able to get out of the water. Given the time of year and the overall coolness that's out here, I'm pretty happy with it. Looks like we've got some crawdads inside of there. No target species. A few more to check. Maybe we'll find something. Alright, so I just got back from checking all of the traps. Uh, we didn't find anything, unfortunately. I mean, the nice thing about going on this kind of exploratory trapping mission is that I now kind of know the lay of the land and which spots would probably work out better than others. I definitely wish I put a lot more traps close to the ponds themselves. Um, they were just a lot more active than I thought they were going to be. So we'll see. I thought these back areas were nice, but overall it doesn't seem like they had too much, too much going on last night. So you live and you learn. Hey there, I hope you liked the video. If you want to see more content relating to wildlife biology, conservation, herpetology, science communication, anything along those lines, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any video ideas relating to anything at all that I just said, feel free to shoot me a message or leave a comment down below. I'm always looking for new ideas. And if not, you know, have a great day.